So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get Kali Linux on Mac. So if you're just getting started in panel restriction testing, then this video is for you. Okay, so the first thing you want to open up is UTM, which you can find a link down below. So let's hit download. While that's downloading, we want to go into Kali Linux. So let's go into the website and hit download. Scroll down until we find Apple Silicon. So we click that and then we hit download. So I'm just going to skip this step because I've already downloaded the ISO for Kali Linux. Okay, so now I have those files and I just pop them in the folder so it's easier to look at. And I'll just double click on UTM, drag it to applications. Okay, so what you want to do now is search UTM on the search bar, create a new virtual machine, hit virtualize Linux. So down here you want to click on browse and just go into the folder where you have the ISO image. Click on that, hit continue. So we want to leave the memory at 4096. Increase the CPU cores to 4. So for the hardware OpenGL acceleration, I would just leave it unticked because it caused me an issue before when I was installing it. So the size of the drive, let's just limit it to 30 gigabytes. That's the minimum. And for the shared directory, it's pretty much like a shared folder between your computer and the VM. So let's just select desktop for my case. And then we want to change the name to Kali Linux and then hit save. All right, so now we want to change some settings. We click on this Kali Linux and we right click edit, then click on display. We want to change the display card to this one here ending in RAMFB and then we hit save. Okay, so this may work for you guys, but if we hit play and we, we start the installation, let this boot up first and we hit install, usually you will get like a blank screen. So a way to fix that is we just close this window, go into the settings window again click new and hit serial. That way it's going to create a new terminal. So now you just open the same thing up. So now instead of just having that single window, you have a terminal at the bottom and you just do your installation through that terminal. Select English, United States, American English. I'm just hitting enter. So for the host name, you can just leave it as Kali. Domain, just pop in Kali. Oh, mine's kind of glitched. I'm just gonna put Kali for everything. Partitioning method, you want to select guided, use the entire disk, hit enter, and then enter, finish, and write changes to the disk. Okay, so once the installation is complete, you just hit continue and it will reboot itself. So now everything's done, just click exit on all of them. Close the window. And then you want to clear the ISO image and just hit start again. Nice, now we're in the main window. Select the first one. Make that full screen. So my username and password was Kali. And now we're in. So what you wanna do first is just run the updates. And then we type in sudo apt-get update. And then we do the same thing and type in upgrade. So this is just gonna upgrade everything to the latest version. 
this is also going to take a little bit. All right, so that's finished. So now you have all of the updates on your Kali Linux. So I just want to point out that you're not going to have your Wi-Fi here, even though you're connected to the Wi-Fi on your laptop. And that's because your VM treats your Wi-Fi as an Ethernet network. So the only way to get Wi-Fi here is to buy an external USB Wi-Fi adapter and just plug it in. All right, so if this video helped you out, then make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thanks.